Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Porcupine E-Festival Final Concert. My name is Cameron Grant, director for the Porcupine Music Festival, le Festival de Musique. Bonsoir à tous et à toutes, et bienvenue au concert final du Porcupine Music Festival, Festival de Musique de cette année. Je m'appelle Mélissa Lalonde et je fais également partie de l'équipe des directeurs et directrices du festival. I would like to begin by acknowledging the Indigenous peoples of the lands that we are on this evening. Even though we are viewing by virtual means, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the lands which we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. From across the region and indeed the province, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territories of all the Inuit, Métis and First Nations people that call this land home. Welcome to our inaugural and hopefully only e-festival. Tonight, it brings us great pleasure to bring you the magical moments of our inaugural e-festival. While we couldn't highlight all of our participants, we wanted to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work, dedication, and talent of these musicians whose efforts made the event possible. Félicitations à tous nos participants et participantes pour leurs efforts remarquables, leur dévouement et leur talent. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the teachers for, without their patience and guidance, would leave these students to their own devices, and we all know how dangerous that can be. Finally, to the parents, your perseverance in recognizing the importance of music education will provide these students with the gift of lifelong music. And the value may not be fully appreciated right now, but trust me, it will. On behalf of the Board of Directors and volunteers, I'd like to offer a sincere and warm thank you to all of the e-festival sponsors. Their continuous support and contributions continue to lend to the arts and culture within our community, and for this, we appreciate them. This entire initiative was made possible with a community effort, fueling the desire to come together for the love of music and to produce it for the ones we love. A un sincère merci à tous nos commanditaires pour leur générosité rendant possible cet événement. We can't go on with our evening without thanking our team of adjudicators who have contributed to the musical development and learning of our participants through their expertise and wonderful comments. Thank you to all of you. Before we begin this evening, uh, I will have a few words of congratulations from our elected officials. Uh, and with that, I hand the floor to Mayor George Peary, MPP Gilles Bisson, and MP Charlie Angus. First thing I'm going to do after COVID is get my hair cut. Second thing, I'm going to get this whole piano tuned. But in the meantime, I want to give a huge shout out to all the participants in the Porcupine Music Festival. This is an incredible tradition that's been going on for years. And I thank you for your hard work, your dedication, and just play some music and have some fun. Here I go again, about to make trumpets go again. I'm Joel Biso, MPP for Timmins, and I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you for participating in this year's Porcupine Music Festival, a long tradition in our community. Yes, it's been difficult during this COVID time. You've had to participate virtually, and that does present challenges, but a lot of you have done what you had to do, and you've risen to that challenge. So I want to congratulate you on behalf of both myself, your MPP, the Ontario Legislature, both our Premier and the Leader of the Opposition, and say to you, job well done, all of you. There's certain perks that the Mayor of the City of Timmins has, and uh, it's occasions like today that are make them uh, make make the job worthwhile. So I have it's, it's my extreme uh, pleasure to congratulate all the hardworking and talented students uh, who are will be, be uh, participating in the award ceremony for the 81st Porcupine Music Festival this weekend. Good luck. Thank you for those wonderful words. They are truly well deserved. Finally, we have a brief message from our president, Mary Ellen Polly. Écoutons maintenant un message de notre présidente, Mary Ellen Polly. 
Good evening. My name is Mary Ellen Pauly and I am the president of the Porcupine Music Festival de Musique. Welcome to our final concert and scholarship award ceremony. At this time, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our volunteer board members who, without a playbook in hand, crafted and created the framework to bring our beloved festival into the virtual world. I would also like to share my sincere thanks to all the parents, teachers, and our talented students without whom our festival would not have come to light. To our adjudicators, thank you for your willingness and eagerness to participate in this unique approach. Your adaptiveness has been so appreciated by all involved. Finally, to our donors, benefactors, and supporters, your generosity and trust in our organization has not only made this e-festival possible, but has allowed the gift of music to carry despite immeasurable odds. On behalf of the board, I hope you and your loved ones find value in tonight's performance and that you can carry the love of music with you always. Now tonight we hope to feature some of our students in an effort to simulate our usual final concert. While we know nothing can compare to the real thing, we hope that this evening provides value and that you share it with your friends and family safely. And now, without further ado, our adjudicators were kind enough to choose a few of their favorite selections that we will feature this evening. And in doing so, we will also reveal our scholarship winners for the e-festival. Procédons maintenant aux performances sélectionnées par nos juges et à la présentation des bourses. Our first highlight of the evening will feature Mea Zion performing Bohemian Rhapsody by the ever-immortalized Queen. Hi, I'm Mia Ziel and I'll be playing Bohemian Rhapsody by Freddie Mercury.
Well done, Maya. I could almost hear the spirit of Freddie Mercury coming through. Throughout the evening, we will also be announcing the recipient of our scholarships generously provided by our benefactors. At this time, I would like to congratulate Evan Nichols, recipient of the PMFMDM Porcupine Music Festival, student accompanist in the amount of $100 on behalf of the festival. Well deserved, Evan, and congratulations on all of your hard work. Let's hear a little more music. A very special shout out to all of our teachers here who overnight became videographers with some very impressive results. Our next performance will feature Jamie Marcotte, who will enlighten us with her rendition of Sarabande from the partita in A minor for solo flute by J.S. Bach. À toi, Jamie. Oh, that takes me back. Very well played, Jamie. Uh, let's take some time to move to another recipient of our scholarships. This next recipient played their heart out and it brings me much pleasure to congratulate Jessica Kim, who receives the Northern Harmony Singer Student Accompanist in the amount of $100. Very deserving. All of our members had a great love of music and in particular choral works. There is a real magic when a group of people share their passion we are hoping that these scholarships will encourage our young people to continue their studies and their performances. It will also allow us to support the accompanists. We know the experience, how valuable it is for each performer to have a collaborative artist you can count on and share the stage. We are truly blessed to have Ron Spadafore for so many years. Please continue this wonderful endeavor as it is a gift that will be with you for the rest of your life. Our next performance features a student in the string variety, Noel Labelle, who will perform Bourri from Sonata in F major for oboe and basso continuo by J.F. Handel. Take it away, Noel. <laughs>
interpretation and one of my favorite composers. Our next scholarship is the Urgil Gravel Scholarship in memory of Renée Skinner, and it is being awarded to Sydney Picard and Kenzie Desrochers Quinn in the amount of one hundred dollars each. Our next musical performer will be Janelle Berube, who will delight us with a vocal rendition of L'Abbé et le Papillon. Merci Janelle, c'était très joli. It brings me great joy to present this next scholarship, the Porcupine Music Festival Festival de Musique Jeffrey James Lee Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $150. And the recipient of this scholarship is Noel Labelle. Hi, my name is Noel. Uh, music to me means having something other than words to express myself and my ideas. Sometimes you just need to escape the confounds of words and create your own narrative. Congratulations, Noel. Our next performance features the dulcet tones of Gianna Neal, who will perform her rendition of Far Away Friend by M. Springer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our next scholarship will be the Audrey Lingard Pauli Memorial Scholarship, four string performance in the amount of $150. It brings me great personal pleasure to announce the recipient of this scholarship in the memory of my late grandmother, to Micah Cooper. Congratulations. Hello everyone, my name is Micah, and why music is important for me it is because it's a challenge for me and I can learn new songs and I can get into different levels and it's fun for me. This year, our adjudicators faced immeasurable odds in adapting to our e-festival, but let me tell you, they did it with a high level of professionalism and with great enthusiasm. Let's hear from Lise Maisonneuve, vocal adjudicator for the 2021 e-festival. Hello everyone, bonjour. First of all, congratulations to all the participants. Wow, there's so much talent in Timmins. And I had the privilege of listening to it for over a week. Félicitations aux participants, teachers, organizers, supporters. What a great job. I look forward to listening to you live one day. Merci à tous. Hi, my name is Nate Houston, and I'm the Rose Bowl winner from 2012. It is my pleasure to present the next performers, Julia and Sydney Picard, who will offer their rendition of Scarborough Fair by Jay Althaus. This is Scarborough Fair. The next recipients will receive a scholarship in the amount of $100 in memory of Audrey Lingard Pauli, and the recipient is Isabel Bai. Congratulations. My name is Isabella, and I like music because it's musical and calming. Quel plaisir que d'entendre toutes ces superbes performances. Without further ado, let's hear from Maya Louvel with an alto sax rendition of Take Five by Paul Desmond. Take it away, Maya. Thank you. 
scholarship comes in the memory of Anne and Henry Kellink. In the amount of $100, it brings me great pleasure to present Anne-Sophie Lavelle as the recipient. Felicitations. Hi, my name is Anne-Sophie Lavelle and I play the piano and the flute. Being able to perform in the music festival this year means a lot to me because I performed in the festival for nearly my entire life and I have many great memories of performing throughout the years. Joining us next is Caitlin Bangs, who will share with us Happy Time Jazz by Martha Meyer. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I will be playing Happy Time Jazz by Martha Meyer. <laughs> will receive the Dr. Luan Visconti Scholarship in the amount of $120. A big congratulations goes out to Eliane Cooper. Hi, my name is Eliane Cooper. Um, how is music important to me is that I like sharing my music with other people. I like playing in the festival and yeah. 
It's so astounding to see these young students perform with such talent. Our next performer is no different. Introducing Micah Cooper, who will play his rendition of May Song, a traditional folk song some of you may recognize. Audrey Jean Wells scholarship in the amount of $150 goes to Jamie Marcotte. Congratulations, Jamie. Well deserved. Hi everyone, my name is Madison McIver Kirkpatrick and I'm the Rose Bowl winner of the year 2013. I'm so pleased to be introducing our next performer, Jean O'Hanley. Here she is performing a masterful rendition of Bel Piacer by Handel. Enjoy. scholarships come from the Cedar Meadows Resort and Spa and are awarded in the amount of $100 each. Félicitations à Janelle Berube. Hi, my name is Janelle Berube and for me music is a lot of fun and it really makes me happy. Since I started singing and playing piano, I really opened up. I'm not as shy as I used to be. Now I let I really enjoy performing and I'm so thankful to perform in the Porcupine Music Festival. And congratulations to Olivia Trombley and Jessica Kim as recipients of this scholarship as well. Hi, my name is Jessica Kim and music is important to me because I really enjoy playing and I find it's just a good way to relax and have fun. Coming up next is a young performer by the name of Wilson Chen, pianist, who will play a sonata in E flat major by Dussek. <laughs> Thank you. 
scholarship comes in two, the Suzanne Hall Memorial Scholarship of $100 each. This year's recipient is Charlotte Nichols and Maya Louvel. Félicitations vous deux. Hi, my name is Charlotte Nichols and I'm 13 years old. I started piano lessons at age 6 and flute lessons at age 10. And I'm very thankful because music is such a fun and constructive way to spend my time. It's introduced me to so many talented teachers and fellow musicians and has allowed me to play in church, which brings joy not just to me, but hopefully to all of those around me. Thank you. Hello, Porcupine Music Festival participants. My name is Dylan Maddox, and I had the great pleasure of being this year's Woodwind and Brass Adjudicator. Uh, I just want to send a quick word of congrats to all of you on some very, very fine performances for this year's festival, and I want to commend you for participating in a festival during a pandemic, which is something I can't say I have ever done, but you've all prevailed and you've made music during a time when people need it most. So thank you so much for doing that. And I want to commend and congratulate the teachers and the organizers of this festival for supporting these fine young musicians. And I just, I wish you all the best in the future, all the success and whatever else positive you can get. So thanks so much. Hi everybody, Peter Sullivan here from the Pittsburgh Symphony. In 1975, I was awarded this lovely Rose Bowl from the Porcupine Music Festival. And I am here today to announce the next performer. His name is Sam Hecula. He is going to share with us his rendition of My Lord of Oxford's Mask by the Renaissance composer, William Byrd, on the recorder. So enjoy. scholarship recipient is for the Mary Blais scholarship in memory of Ernesto Lorenzon in the amount of $200. And the recipient is Caleb Seneve. Hello, my name is Caleb Seneve and my plans for the future heavily involve music. Our next performance is a very appropriately socially distanced trio performance by Jesse Nielsen, Nadia Duquette, and Jamie Marcotte, who will perform over the Sea to Sky, a traditional by C.C. Miller. Hi, I'm Jesse Nielsen. Hi, I'm Nadia Duquette. Hi, I'm Jamie Marcotte. And this is Over the Sea to Sky, a Scottish folk song by Christy Carey Miller. Oh, 
certainly filled that six-foot gap. This next bursary comes from Helen Reitman. Music is a universal language. My donations are in memory of Suzanne Naver and Marissa Colbert, who each loved all forms of music their entire lives. The Helen Reitman Scholarship, in memory of Marissa Colbert and in memory of Suzanne Naver, awarded in two scholarships in the amount of $100 each, are awarded to Jessica Kim, and Caitlin Banks. Felicitation. Hello, my name is Carrie Crocker and I'm the Rose Bowl winner from the year 2000. It is my pleasure to announce the next performance of the evening. Here is Tristan Genereux with his rendition of Squirrels at Play by Boris Berlin. Enjoy! The next bursary we have is two in the amount of $100 each from Casey's Restaurant. This scholarship is awarded to Wilson Chen and Gianna Neal. Félicitations. My name is Gianna Neal and I've been playing piano since I was six years old, so music has been an important part of my life for as long as I can remember. It has helped me work to my full potential and it gives me an escape when I need it.
The next is a delicate piece that comes to us from a very talented string player by the name of Avonlea Cooper. She will play for us Salut d'Amour, Liebesgroup, Opus 12 by Edward Elgar. A toi, Avonlea. Even though we can't play in person this year and hand out these wonderful scholarships, it is still a great honor to present them virtually. Our next is provided by the Vicino Family Scholarship in memory of Raymond Vicino, and this year is twice awarded to, jo uh, to Jean Hanley and Maya Dion in the amount of $125 each. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Maya Dion. It was a pleasure to participate in this year's festival because even though we didn't get to see each other face to face, I still got the chance to be adjudicated and be able to grow as a musician. Hi everyone. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all performers for all their hard work and dedication to participating in this year's festival under such difficult circumstances. I can understand what everyone went through to have lessons online and the responsibility that students have had to take on to learn their music and remain committed to perfecting it to record. I'm very impressed with the level of piano playing, and it was clear to see the support that was given to the performers by teachers and families to make the recordings happen. Some of you even managed to record outdoors, which worked very well, especially for the ensembles. Despite the pandemic, it was inspiring to see you working so hard and keeping your love of making music alive. Congratulations to the award winners and to all the teachers for their dedication and guidance. I hope that my comments motivate you to keep playing at a high level and I hope to meet you all in person in the future. This next performance will feature Anne-Sophie Lavelle, who will perform Pierrot by Paul Harris on flute. <laughs>
been so fortunate to be serenaded by such talented young artists. I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching along with us. Quelle joie que d'entendre tous ces jeunes artistes. Merci bien de vous joindre à nous pour célébrer leur talent. Our next scholarship is given in memory of Sister Maria Courteau. These two scholarships in the amount of $50 each are awarded to Samuel Généreux and Olivia Robertson. Bonjour, je me nomme Samuel Généreux et j'aime apprendre la musique car ça m'aide à jouer du piano, jouer de la guitare et chanter. Merci de m'avoir écouté. Je m'appelle Olivia Robertson. La musique est importante pour moi parce que j'aime jouer le piano avec ma soeur puis ma maman. Hello, my name is Katie Kirkpatrick, and I am the 2019 Roseville winner of the Porcupine Music Festival. The next performance features the amazingly talented Caitlin Skinner performing her musical theater piece, Daryl is a Boy and He Lives in My Closet by Michael Mitnick. Get ready to be entertained. Hello, my name is Caitlin Skinner, and today we'll be singing Daryl is a Boy and He Lives in My Closet. <laughs> and he lives in my closet. He is not imaginary and he's really cute. Daryl is a boy and he lives in my closet and I lured him there with cookies and some juicy fruit. One time, one time, I tried to kiss him. I said one kiss and you can go. But Daryl, Scholarship in memory of Suzanne Maver, Maver, and it is awarded to two scholarships in the amount of $100. Congratulations, Julia Picard and Robin Miron. Hello, my name is Robin, and this is my first time being in the Porcupine Music Festival. Music has affected my life greatly. It cheers me up, gives me a way to express myself, and gives me something to work towards, and I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to pursue it. Coming up next is Olivia Tremblay who will sing us her rendition of Amor by M. Volcan. Olivia, the floor is yours. It wasn't the policeman's fault in all the traffic roar. Instead of shouting halt when he saw me, he shouted, 
querer amor, 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 amor. Even the ice cream man, free ice creams by the score. Instead of shouting butter pecan, boy, look at me. He shouted amor. The Northern Harmony Singers Scholarship is very deservingly awarded to Paige Moore in the amount of $100. Hi there, my name is Paige Moore and music is important to me because it's something that I get to share with my friends, my family, and my teachers, but it's also something that I get to share with people I may not know yet and that's very magical to me. We know that the pandemic has been difficult, but I want to take this moment to applaud our students, teachers, parents and all those who came together to produce these wonderful e-festival videos and this final concert. We hope that you found value in watching thus far and with that, let's move to Jessica Kim, who will serenade us with Nocturne by Chopin. Hi, my name is Jessica and I will be playing Nocturne in C-sharp minor by Chopin.
next scholarship is awarded in memory of Audrey Lingard Pauli, a great lover of music, and it brings me pleasure to award this year's scholarship to Avonlea Cooper in the amount of $150. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Brandon Terrio, and I am the 2015 Rose Bowl winner. I am honored to present the following performance. Here is violinist Eliane Cooper with her impressive rendition of Concerto No. 2 in G Major by F. Zeitz. Timmons, the Jeff McCausland here, strings adjudicator for this year's E Festival. I just wanted to say it was such an honor to oversee the playing of so many talented, really high caliber students, and a, a real big kudos to the festival organizers for the brilliant job at using free and available tools to, in such an elegant way to realize this year's festival and keep the music alive. Very grateful to be a part of this. Great job, everyone. Our next scholarship is the Wendy and Nicholas Skinner Scholarship in memory of Renee Skinner and is most fittingly awarded to Caitlin Skinner in the amount of $100. Hi there, my name is Caitlin Skinner and I was part of the Timmins Porcupine Music Festival this year. So the reason that music is important to me is because it's been part of my life since I was a little girl. I also believe that music has the power to bring us together during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. We know Sherry Fitch wrote about the monkeys in her kitchen, but Jasmine Bangs will next perform about the monkeys in the tree by Boris Berlin. I will be playing Monkeys in a Tree by Berlin, Boris Berlin.
Our next scholarship comes from a great community builder, the Rotary Club Scholarship. And this year, it is awarded in three separate scholarships in the amount of $100. This year's recipient is Jasmine Bangs, Ava Miller, and Tristan Genevo. Félicitations. Hi, my name is Ava Miller, and music is very important to me. It has opened doors, and it was a way for me to connect with people during these pandemic years. I'm very grateful for this lifelong gift, and I would like to thank the Porcupine Music Festival that continued virtual to enable me to still perform this year. Bonjour, mon nom est Tristan Généreux, et la musique est importante pour moi car elle me permet d'exprimer mes émotions. Aussi, à chaque fois que je fais un nouveau morceau, c'est un nouveau défi pour moi. Merci. Hello, my name is Allison Tilly Kirkpatrick. I am the Rose Bowl winner from the years 1984 and 1985. It is with great pleasure that I am here to introduce the next performance. Here is the lovely Paige Moore singing her skilled rendition of Benjamin Britten's Fileurs. Our next scholarship is the Alice Tarlone Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $125 and is very deservingly awarded to Jean O'Hanley. Congratulations, Jean. Hi, I'm Jean. Music has enhanced my life in so many different ways. It transcends everyday life, and I'm so grateful to have this fun and rewarding outlet, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. Music has always put everything else in my life into perspective, and has helped me achieve my goals by teaching me the importance of focus. Music has helped every aspect of my life, and I'm a better person because of it. It's an amazing pursuit, and I would recommend it to anyone willing to give it a shot. This next performance comes to us from Charlotte Nichols, a piece called In Dreams, which you might recognize from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. À toi, Charlotte. <laughs> Thank you. 
This next scholarship is awarded in memory of Renee Skinner for a vocal duet. This year's recipients are Julia and Sydney Picard, receiving $100 each. Félicitations. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sydney Picard, and being part of the music festival this year has given me the chance to work on my talent throughout the pandemic. Also, having the festival gives me the chance to practice and showcase my hard work. Merci. My name is Julia Picard. Being able to participate in the music festival this year means being able to share my talent and to showcase my hard work. The festival has proven that even through a pandemic, our musical talent does not go unnoticed. Thank you for this awesome opportunity. The next performance comes from a very talented performer, and I want to take a moment to recognize that this piece is no small feat. Performing Zweite Sonetta für Klavier by German composer Hindesmith is Jean O'Hanley. We're nearing the end of our e-festival and final concert performance, and I wanted to take a moment to congratulate each and every one of you. We're so very proud of your drive, and we hope that you carry this for many years to come. Our next scholarship is in memory of Renee Skinner for English Popular Song and is awarded in the amount of $200 to Jesse Nielsen. Congratulations. Our final and perhaps most fitting scholarship of the evening is the Renee Skinner Memorial Scholarship for French Language Vocal Solo, awarded in two scholarships in the amount of $100 each. This year's recipients are Paige Moore and Jean O'Hanley. Félicitations, les filles. 
It's been a real joy to move through this program with you piece by piece. Our final performance of the evening comes to us from Jessica Kim performing a self-accompanied rendition of Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson. Before I hand it over to Jessica, I'd like to say a warm and sincere thank you to everyone involved in the 2021 Porcupine Music Festival, Festival de Musique e-Festival. We hope that you'll join us again next year. And if you're thinking of volunteering with us or contributing to the Porcupine Music Festival, Festival de Musique, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you to everyone and have a wonderful summer. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Special thanks to my co-host, Melissa Lalonde, and special shout out to Lindsay Deschamps for all of her efforts in ensuring that this festival comes together, especially the final concert. I do wish you well, and I hope that you carry the gift of music with you, especially as we move through these difficult times, as we see the end of the pandemic, and hopefully come together for the joy and love of music. For now, stay positive, and remember, test negative. Hi, my name is Jessica, and I will be performing Kelly Clarkson's hit song, Piece by Piece.